Welcome to Cars and Deals. Today I have a refreshed new 2024 DLS 450. I'm gonna review the car for you, tell you everything about the new uh, features and changes in this DLS, and I will also talk about the price. So the most obvious change in this car that everyone will notice is the new grille. And I think it fits the GLS really, really well. Lately, GLS was on a low production. It, it was one of the few Mercedes-Benz models that still have the uh, markup after COVID. That's the uh, price addendum that is charged over manufacturer's suggested price. So I'm sure dealerships will want to do the same on the new one. Other changes that Mercedes-Benz did is the new front uh, bumper and the new headlights, just like in a GLE. The engine stayed the same. Engine is inline turbocharged six cylinder engine with 48 volt battery mild hybrid however there is a mystery about it the mystery is that on every other mild hybrid model mercedes-benz states that in, on the sticker so if anybody knows why they don't put that on the sticker anymore uh, let me know in the, in the comment Eighty-seven thousand dollars is a new base price it used to be 81.8 so it's a five thousand two hundred dollars increase that's the rims that we already seen, not the best choice of the rims, the new tail lights. Uh, four Matic all-wheel drive is standard, three rows standard. You can get the captain chairs just like in this car or you can go with um, the seven seats. You can fold the seats from here, fold it from here. This is for somebody who didn't know the suspension adjustment. The car sits on the air suspension. It has parking sensors in the back. So every time Mercedes-Benz see that there is a demand on the market and dealers start to charge over asking um, price, over the manufacturer suggested retail price, they raise the price. And they did a few changes to the car outside and inside which i think improved overall look of the car but i i'm not sure if it's worth five thousand dollars that's the soft closed uh, option 550 dollars the new wood trim option piano lacquer which i personally love that's the new interior color let me show you this in more detail brown interior i love that so also they did change the um, they changed the software so now you have the new software steering wheel is new as well this one has the soft i'm sorry the um, flat bottom so the software here is just like in electric cars s class c class or gle so you can change that. Also, they introduced new packaging. Now it has the same packages, just like Jelly. It has premium, exclusive, and Pinnacle. This one has the Pinnacle. And the, if you see the heads up display, it's gotta have Pinnacle. Let's start the car. It's super quiet inside. Also because of the mild hybrid powertrain, the car gets cold super fast. So the Pinnacle has the heads-up display. Pinnacle has um, massage seats. So to get the massage seats, this is obviously, obviously the touch screen. You go here and you can turn on for a driver or a passenger. Let's do intensive so I speak faster. <laughs> 
So this is GLS. It's just a short review of the car. It drives just as good as the 20, 23. On the paper, it's slightly faster, 0 0.1 faster, 0 to 60. I think it was um, 5.9 for 23 and 5.8 for 24. Overall, I really like it. And if you guys want to order one, you want to get the best deal, especially for those that are in Southern California or anywhere in California, uh, you can contact me directly and I'll be happy to help. And subscribe, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one.